Hey everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. Well, I've been using the Cricut Joy now for about three weeks and I'm really enjoying it. Sorry about the pun. Um, one of the ways that I use it is in my kitchen. And while I am using it, I love to use my iPad to work with the Joy because um, in the kitchen, I don't have my regular uh, desktop or even my laptop. So I've been using the iPad app and um, I wanted to spend a little bit of time to show you how to use the iPad um, app. Now you can use this also on an iPhone or you can use it on an Android device and you can download it from the App Store or the Android um, application store there. And once you download it and you sign in um, and you choose a few options, um, you can set to work to create um, any project that you normally create on a desktop or a laptop in the iPad. There are a few limitations um, such as um, the app does not do curved text, but for the most part, almost everything is uh, available to you um, using the app. So today we made some really adorable uh, St. Patrick's Day cards. They're, they're like little um, tabbed cards. These are gonna be able to be cut um, on any machine, not just the Joy, but also Explore Machine or Maker. And I wanted to show you how to find these images in Design Space, how to resize um, them, and also how to change the color. So let's get to doing that. So um, to do that, what we're going to do is start a new project. So we hit this plus sign here and it will bring us to our canvas. Um, if you had something on the canvas, it will ask you if you wanted to replace it or not. Um, and that's, you choose replace, and hopefully you have saved your original work there, which is what I had done here. So um, I want to find these images. So in order to do that, I have to do a search for images, and I'm going to choose this the image with the plus sign here. I'm gonna choose that. And it will bring us up to um, the regular, this is the regular image search, which you can do searches, you know, you, you same way you would do a search in a regular search engine, type in words or whatever. But I'm gonna show you the two other ways that you can search. And that one, one way is by categories. And if you click on here, they give you an awful lot of categories here. Um, and so you can find some of these image, images in this category, St. Patrick's Day. Um, and so you'll see here all of these images in St. Patrick's Day. Some of the images, I'm not sure if all of them, but some of the images for these, for these cards come from here in this category, see? Luck of the Irish, Irish at heart. But you can also search by cartridge, which is an option right here. Choose cartridge. And then where the little magnifying glass is, you can type in the name of the cartridge. To be honest, um, you have to know the very specific name of the cartridge. So when doing a search by cartridge, it's best to just choose a word that you think is in the cartridge. Um, and instead of trying to search very specifically by the name. Um, so for instance, in this case, I know that these images come from a, a, um, a cartridge called Spring Holiday Cards. So I'm gonna just use the word spring and type that in here, S-P-R-A-N-G-I-N-G. -G. And by the way, um, it's very important that you spell correctly here um, or nothing will happen. You won't get any search results. So I'm gonna search and what that does is it brings up all of these 
um, all of these cartridges that are were originally um, titled with the word spring in the name. And this is the one that we're looking for, spring holiday cards. But you see here, there are also maybe about a dozen um, other names that you can look at. Most of these, uh, these images are derived from cartridges, which is like the old term um, for image sets. Uh, the, the Cricut used to publish their images on cartridges, and when they went to an online system, they digitized all of the images, and they made them, most all of them, available for subscribers in Cricut Access, and you can see that these, the ones that have the little A here, means that it's available to you if you are an Access subscriber, okay? So that's what these are. So when you would click on the cartridge that you're looking at, looking for and that's this one spring holiday cards okay and you'll see that it has in addition to valentine's day it has some spring cards it has some st patrick's day cards and also some easter cards and you can go about there's about 40 different choices and you can choose whatever ones you want i'm just going to choose Let's, I'm just gonna choose uh, four of them. And you see, as I choose them, not only do they uh, get surrounded by a green box, but also on the bottom, it, they show up and then you can hit insert. If you accidentally inserted something that you don't want, you can also click on that and you can choose to remove it. Um, but no, let's put them all in. So I picked four and we're gonna insert the four. And you'll see it comes back to your canvas. And um, they usually just like kind of cascade or tile there. Now, um, when they come in, you'll notice that they come in with different colors um, and maybe colors that you wouldn't choose. Or um, perhaps you want to sync the colors so that it's all, um, for example, this morning we did a a bunch of them and we wanted the yellow to be on the bottom and the green on the top and we only wanted one color green and there are numerous color greens here so to change it all so that all four of these have yellow backgrounds and one color green foreground i am going to use this feature called sync this is something also from the uh from the desktop app. So sync it means color sync and you will have this right hand column that comes up and you can see here there's one, two, three, four, five different colors here. Um, and um, not all of them, for instance, four out of the five are shades of green, but we wanna make all of our backgrounds yellow and all of our foregrounds green. So what we're going to do is choose the ones that are the backgrounds, which are just the plain ones with the tabs cut in them, and we're going to just move them up to be yellow. And here's another one here. But still, I have four different color greens. So when I go to cut this, they will go on separate mats, uh, four separate mats. So in order to cut them all on the same mat, if you're using a bigger machine with the joy that would, maybe you could get two of these on a longer mat, um, but with the bigger machine, all four of these would normally go all on one mat but you need to consolidate them and you do that simply by um, moving them all into any one of the green. And you'll notice that once I do that, it just brings that five different colors down to two. And so now we're all set and you can see on the canvas, our backgrounds are yellow and then the foregrounds are green. Let's also resize this. 
um, each of these. I'd like these to print out the maximum that can cut with the joy, which remember is only um, four and a quarter inches, um, one dimension. So whether it's a landscape or a portrait, one of the dimensions can cannot exceed 4.25 inches. And so let's change them because these ones are actually about two inches um, big. So how do we do that? First we go to edit and we make sure that one of the images is selected. You know it's selected because it has these little, these four little um, tools or possible tools here. So you can um, you can resize these by using this little uh, this little arrow thing, but I like to resize under edit because it can be very, very precise. So I'm gonna take the smallest of the two, see right here, I've got 2.48 for a width, so two and a half inches wide by 3.1 inch high, and I wanna make the width 4.25, which is the maximum that will cut on the joy. So I just simply put in 4.25, make sure you put that point in there, or else you're going to end up with a very large image that won't cut anywhere. So once you do that and you click out of there, you'll notice that it's resized. The same is it's the same method for a landscape version, but in this case, it's the height and not the width. Okay, so we're going to go and do 4.25. And you can do that for all of these. And let's do the last one. Okay. So now we're actually ready to cut on on our machine. But before we do that, I would suggest that you save this. And to save your file, you're going to want to choose up here next to your account information, you choose that little um, save icon and you have save and save as, but we're gonna choose save and then we can name it whatever we want to name it, St. Patrick's Day. Postcards maybe postcards. Now here is a choice that you can make. You have um, two choices. You can either save it to the cloud or save it to your iPad, which is what I'm working on. Um, if you saved it to your iPad, the, the project would only be available to you to use from your iPad. This is great if you wanna work offline because it will save it to the iPad. But I generally, don't work offline and I want to be able to open up a project either from my iPad that I made on my desktop or vice versa. So I'm going to save it to the cloud. And you'll see it does say saved. And then you're ready to cut, which all it requires is hitting make it and in this case, because I am I am connected to my joy, I get the choice of being without a mat, on a mat, on the card mat, or multiple ways. And then you go about and you just cut it the way that you normally would cut anything on the Cricut Joy. So I hope that this has helped you uh, to understand the Design Space app on, um, on a mobile device. It does not have to be iPad. It can be an iPhone or it can be an Android phone, but it's really a fun way to access um, Design Space for either using with your Joy and also anything that has a Bluetooth such as Cricut Maker or Cricut Explore Air or Air 2. I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks so much for joining me today and we'll see you again really soon. This is Rita for Miss Rita to the Rescue.